In this video, we're going to look at an unusual real integral involving secant. So we're going to start off by looking at this integral secant cubed x dx. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off one of the secants. So I'll peel it off like this. OK. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to use integration by parts. So remember, for integration by parts, you want to choose a u and you want to choose a dv. Our u in this case is going to be secant of x. And that would make our dv secant squared x dx. Now, we know we have to differentiate u. So du is going to be equal to secant x tangent x dx. And we're going to find the antiderivative of dv. The antiderivative of secant squared x is tangent x. And when we apply the um, integration by parts formula, we get uv, which is secant x tangent x minus the integral of v du of v du that's tangent x times secant x tangent x dx now remember all of this was equal to the original thing which was secant cubed x dx let me simplify this second integral a little bit. We're going to get secant x tangent x, and we can rewrite this as the integral of secant x times tangent squared x dx. Okay. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Pythagorean trig identity, the second one. And I'm going to use the one where we isolate the tangent squared x. So we know the tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x minus 1. So I'm going to make that substitution. When I make that substitution, I get secant x tangent x minus the integral of secant x times secant cubed I'm sorry, secant squared x minus 1 dx like that. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the inside of that integral. So you're going to get secant x tangent x minus the integral of secant cubed x minus secant of x dx. Okay. And I'm going to take that second integral and I'm going to split it up into two pieces. So this will be secant x tangent x minus the integral of secant cubed x dx. And remember, I'm going to have to distribute this negative to this negative over here. So the net result I'm going to have is actually going to be plus the integral of secant x dx. Now, we've seen in the last video that the integral of secant x is something that we know. So this is going to simplify to secant x tangent x. I'm going to have my negative integral of secant cubed x dx. And that's going to be plus the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. All right. At this point, we need to notice that we actually have a secant cubed x dx over here. But remember, that's the original question that we had. So to make it perfectly clear, let me rewrite 
where we're at right now. Okay. So all of this means what? This means the integral of secant cubed x dx, that's going to be equal to secant x tangent x plus natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x minus the integral of secant cubed x dx. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to add secant, the integral of secant cubed x dx to both sides. And when I do that, I'll have two of them on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to have secant x tangent x plus natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. Okay. So to solve this problem, all I need to do is multiply both sides by 1 half. And that's going to isolate the secant cubed x. So when I do that, I'm going to get the following. I'm going to get secant cubed x dx is equal to 1 half secant x tangent x plus 1 half natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c. We'll throw the plus C on now because we're done. So unfortunately for you guys, this integral does show up occasionally. So you really want to keep an eye out for the secant cubed x dx. And if it shows up in a homework question, I don't mind if you just use this formula. Okay. All right, everybody. I wanted to show you this example. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.